Last year, I kind of stopped making videos on YouTube. I got so caught up in making everything perfect that it became impossible to be happy with anything. Over the next 25 days, we're going back to the basics, behind the scenes GoPro travel videos. We'll be traveling from Japan to Hawaii to LA, Vegas, Miami, Bahamas and Havana, all to create a new show for the Nikon Z series. The official show will be out in March, but join us here every day to see what we get up to. Don't forget to turn the bell on. Usually see all of these beautiful, pristine spaces for filming YouTube videos. This is the current state of our office. Down here, these are the clothes I'm wearing, uh, but this is all I'm bringing, this small suitcase here, as well as this Peak Design backpack. In here, I have the 24 to 70 F2 for the Nikon Z6. Down here, these are the things from Marshall. This is the 14 to 30 F4, a battery, and a 35 millimeter lens, Z6, Marshall Angus. Up here, some old cameras, and my uh, favorite item. Actually, this is the only decoration I've ever purchased for the house, this uh, silver pineapple. Down here though, Carl the Fog Globe. If you're familiar with Carl the Fog, San Francisco, whenever the fog rolls in, its name is Carl. And the Giants, instead of making a beautiful snow globe, just made an opaque, this is a WPPI glass thing, we're speaking there. This is Bach, Beethoven down here, old cameras. Taco truck, and over here, YouTube award for uh, getting 100,000 subscribers. Thought I was gonna put it up. Lots of wall space, as you can see. Haven't put anything up. And then down here, the Antarctic Explorer, which is by far one of my favorite things that I definitely should put in a frame and put up somewhere. This is when we went to Antarctica and actually stepped foot. Uh, this is the coordinates and the time and the date that we actually stepped foot on the physical continental Antarctica. Down here, we have Bill Murray, Scarlett Johansson, and uh, this is at the Park Hyatt Tokyo. It's one of my favorite movies, Lost in Translation. And we're actually gonna be going to that hotel this week. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of our beautiful office. Let's uh, go pick up Alex Marshall and go to Japan. It's really cold outside. Here we have Alex Hicknell and Marshall Angus. What do you want from me? Why are you running? This is Marshall Angus. He has returned from Africa less than 36 hours ago. I literally and right past here. Like, it's likely yesterday. that he has malaria. This is Alex. He does not have malaria. How do you catch malaria? You get bit by a mosquito. But can I catch it from no, you? No, you can't get it. It's not transmitting well. But you won't see the symptoms until like seven to 14 days after you've been bit. So over the next 14 days, you're gonna see Marshall slowly contracting malaria and having the symptoms, and we'll end in a dramatic climax of Marshall being medevaced out of Havana, Cuba. <laughs> Do you have travel insurance? Marshall's malaria tour. <laughs> I did, however, find myself a Nintendo Switch Lite which is now charging and updating as we walk onto the airplane. <laughs> Thankfully, Tim had games in his backpack. Nine A's we done this week, thanks. We have arrived in Tokyo after a 12-hour flight from Toronto where we got turned around and sent back to the gate, but eventually made it out. 
we are here, and I think that I have the exact same room that I had a month ago when we were here, uh, when we were filming the travel and landscape photography tutorial. If you haven't checked that out, it is on YouTube right now, so go and check that out. It comes with all the raw files and everything. When we were here last, we are at Shibuya Crossing, and when we were here last, we were doing kind of wide angle shots to really kind of get everything into the scene and showcase the full environment. We're gonna handhold one fourth of a second. And today, I have the Nikon Z6 and the 85 millimeter lens, so uh, what I'm gonna be doing is Pretty much doing the opposite of going super wide and shooting everything at 85. So down there, should be a crossing, should be a scramble, and uh, usually you'd want a wide angle lens to make sure that you get kind of all of this, but today I'm gonna be shooting at 85 and only really getting the scramble, and I'm also handheld. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go down to a very low handheld shutter speed and see if I can get a little kind of natural shake here. So that might be a little too long. Maybe something like maybe one slash two of a second. And push up against the glass, I think that's looking all right. One of the things that I like the best about the Nikon Z6 is that the in-body stabilization I can really just kind of handhold even down to one second as long as I have three points of stabilization. So what I want to do is handhold with one hand, have my second hand that's holding this camera on this camera, and then also press it up against the glass. And if I'm able to do that, usually I'm able to stabilize a frame that I should not otherwise be able to stabilize. And I personally believe that even if there is a little bit of blur on the buildings around the surrounding area, it really just kind of adds to the ambience and it also makes it feel not like a stock photo. that just look like images you've seen thousands of times before. So the way that you can put your own spin on it is to change things up just a little bit. And if things aren't perfectly crisp like a commercial image would be, I think that's okay. And I think that it makes it a little bit more of art rather than just commercial stock. W wave to the people. Ooh. Marshall and Alex got potentially the greatest room in Tokyo that looks over the Scramble Crossing. 10 out of 10 random selection. On the phone with Timothy Musa. Hi. What is your uh, reaction to Tokyo so far? Ah, oh, it's, I just stepped out the hotel room and I'm a bit cold. And there's, there's banks, there's banks everywhere. This is a bank of 7-Eleven. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Where's your beer, Marshall? Drank it. Already? Yeah. I moved on to, uh, hang on. My ion water, so I can wake up in the morning. And your waffle? Oh, uh, they were out of stock on waffles at Family Mart, so I got the chocolate croissant, which is like my number two. Still fantastic, but not the same as the waffle. There you have it, join Patreon. I think this is maybe the smallest washroom I've ever been in. We're on our way down to Shibuya Scramble to photograph some taxis. And uh, it's late at night, not a lot of people, but cars. 